Welcome to I Love Stocks. I'm going to give a little update on three tickers today. And number one is going to be Tesla, NKLA, and INO. And what a run that had today, INO. So let's go ahead and go straight to Tesla. I noticed right off the bat that they've redone their website. I noticed when I pulled it up, the, the solar panels popped up first. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Well, they've had some issues with the Model S. That's right here. Had a recall of 60,000. Let's see what they have in the news here under Tesla. This is what I notice here that US probe touchscreen failure in Tesla Model S cars. They had a re recall of 63,000. They're going to be checking that out. And don't scare me much, but the market conditions right now do kind of kind of get to me a little bit, so I kind of might ask for another pullback on Tesla, and we're going to look at the chart just to see. I was just checking out to see if I had any more news. That touch screen, that's the big thing that really got me today. And then market conditions, how they were pulling back. and So, yeah, I think Fat Cats wanted to pull back more in the retail. So we've had some warnings to the retail traders. I'd play a little cautiously and maybe play the dips. I think Friday we're going to start to rebound and have a flat Friday and then back to green on Monday. If the news comes out, you know, with an uptick in the corona cases. So that's what's really brought this market down. So let's go ahead and look at the Tesla chart. Let me see here, I'll find one. IBIO, what's it doing? 156, so we're gonna look at Tesla. Now I've got, we did kind of close in a descending pattern right here. We have a support level right here at 559.85, so we're still we're still in that area of support. Let's pull up the 20-day and just have a glance at the 20-day real fast. I called a little channel in here, so we can bring this can come back down to this $900 area, and that's where it's got to hold. That's your low support. Anything below that 900, you know, 897, 48, that's where we had that triple top breakout. And then we had that touchback right here to the 200, and we busted below that 200 now. So I think the recall could bring us back down to 900, and that'd be a very support, very important support level. If we can hold that 900, we'll be fine. The pivot point's going to be right in here between 950 and 956, 91. With the resistance to break, you see, I was kind of counting on a, a breakout today. It just didn't happen that way. When the recalls came out, the stock dropped. So I definitely was wrong about it. I was thinking we were going to get a breakout above here and maybe to retest this 1032 or this 1018 for a triple top. Didn't happen. So we did pull back to the pivot point area and we do have a low support just around $900 to hold. And that's Tesla. And we're going to talk about its competition. And I think the electric cars is a big thing that's coming out in, you know, talk about market rotation. Well, I've been very interested in, in the electric car business. And we're going to talk about this other one, and it's called NKLA. And I think it's like a beginning of the Tesla. And we did break out of that ascending triangle right here last week last two we had monday tuesday and then we kind of settled up here on nkl hey at, at up here at a resistance level of right around i'm saying 74 75 20 area that's going to be like a real solid resistance to break now it can't pull back to the 200 or it can pull back to a support level i have here at 5680 that's where i'd like to see it that's where i wanted to get into the trade but it didn't pull back, instead it ran up. But we do have lower highs, and we do have that long, thin, six, seven days sending triangle breakout. So we can retest back up here to the new highs. We gotta break 75.20, or it can pull back, and I'm gonna draw a little trend line. Right here. And we'll put that right there. And it runs right into that 200 on the 20-day. Raise it up just a little bit. 
I'm going to extend this thing out. If you ever want to know how to extend it out on TOS, just go to Edit Properties. And that's not what I wanted. But if extension off is what I want. No. Then we've got this little sending triangle breakout. So that's going to be a low support right there, right around the 6821 area. I got a 6795. And then we got a resistance to break at 7520 to bring it up to these new levels up here. And I'm just kind of estimating maybe right about this 7844 will be your next spot. Get that right there. 7844. Is the resistance if we can break past the 7520? And that's NKLA. And I should have talked about the company a little bit. So I'm going to pull up the website. Kind of went backwards on that. Let's see if I had any news here that. Heard the shorts were getting caught, uh, stuck, that's for one thing. Well, they got another electric truck coming up. Oh, gosh. I like this. Pickup truck is coming. Here's what you need to know. So there's a little article you can read about, about this stock right now. That's NKLA. So I'm kind of interested in that. But I do like this stock for competition. So we're going to go ahead and pull up the chart again. Support level 5680. Resistance to break 7520. And we could pull back to this first support right here at 6795. You see what that was the ascending triangle breakout. So that's going to be your solid support. And that runs right into that 200 on the 20 day with a double confirmation. If it does sell off hard, this could be your entry level here at 5680. And that's in KLA. And then the last one I want to talk about is going to be I know. And what a great stock out of the blue. I mean, I had someone in the room talking to me about this a couple months ago, and I'm kind of negative on it. And then all of a sudden, I started, we started noticing the volume. And I mentioned it on Monday and Tuesday, and then today it had that big run. So, you know, I N O is. Look at this. INO Pharmacy gets $71 million for vaccine delivery device. So that's kind of $71 million. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. So to me, that was a big catalyst for this stock to be running like it is. I think we still have more time for the start to level out and consolidate or we have another big breakout. So let's pull up. I am on the chart, and I'm about done here. Had a nice little pullback today. I mean, it <clears throat> it broke out of an ascending triangle here. Let me pull this up on five day. Might see it better. We started having a little breakout on it on Monday. And then yesterday it had another nice little breakout, and with that momentum and that ascending pennant flag right here, you see that pennant flag. I'll draw that in real fast. And with the momentum behind this trade right now, it was perfect. It was the perfect setup. And then you could tell in the morning when it had that big spike that it was going to maybe pull back to this support area right down in here. And I called it out in the room. I said, maybe we'll go back to 2082. And it went ahead and hit that. And then it went ahead and ran up and broke out of that. And then we had a descending pattern after we hit the 2560 high of the day. So we've got to try to figure out where this thing's going to pull back, if it does pull back or if it wants to break out more. I, th I think it needs to rest a little bit. So we want to maybe come back to this area right here, right around the 2154. That's going to be a pretty solid maybe second support. And your third one's going to be down here. In this level down here right under 20 bucks i don't think we're going to get down there right yet but we could get that 50 percent retracement and that's right there at the 20. 
and that's where we had the pennant flag breakout. So always keep this in mind. We've got a low support right around the $20 that needs to hold. If not, it'll drop another $1.50 right down here. Or we'll pull back to this first, second, and third support. And that's going to be 2082, 2157, with that first one right here at 2141. But I've got a lot. I'm going to keep a good eye on this tomorrow. There was very few stocks that ran today, and this was one of them. And I think that's about it for the aftermarket report. I hope Miss Vegas enjoys her R&R &R today, and she'll be back with us when she gets back. But the ones I talked about was Tesla, NKLA, and I know. Always remember, subscribe, ring that bell, and we pull up our little website here. We've got a little Twitter link right here. You can always pull up ilovestocks.com. Hit that little Twitter bird. We're really moving up with followers here. We got 3,498 now. We're gaining every day followers on this. And also on the website, we have our stock twits, our Pinterest, and then we have our YouTube channel. You can always buzz through our old YouTube channels. There are some learning lessons in here. And also, just subscribe, ring that bell, and you'll get our future updates. And hit that like button. Have a good day. Always remember, we love stocks. Thank you.